three. Oh, how much was it? Fifty-four pound. And in this, if I save up that money with my pocket money and all that, then paper round money, we could go camping in the summer. Stop horse around and give us luck. My fag's gone out. Aha! <laughs> look, don't take the mick. Come on, give us a light. Can't blame me. The tree's on fire. Quick, get out! This place. <laughs> Come on, get out! We're burning back in there. You know, some of those kids ought to start reading these. They'd soon stop smoking. I reckon they only smoke to please their mates and then they can't stop. No, they only do it to look big. Then they get hooked and they have to nick them. After that, their fun is short-lived. Well, that's that. Bit of easy money. What are you going to spend yours on, records or clothes? Probably records, These young kids run about the age of 11 or 12 up and down the country who uh, can get away with smoking in some youth clubs. I think they're just trying to make out that they're big and tough. I mean, the way they dress... Yeah, the cigarettes the just go with this. the jackets and the boots. Yeah. And the rough look. Just because you put on a jacket and put on some Dr. Martin boots and put a fag in your mouth doesn't make you tough at all. I think mean, it just makes you... A bit of a freak, actually. Yeah, I think. Well, you know, when this, when they first started doing this, it used to shock people. But these days, they're so used to seeing them dressed like that, it doesn't shock them at all. The smoking affects your appearance as well quite a lot. I mean, you get people with yellow hair, and as the nicotine rises up out of the smoke, and you, yeah, yellow teeth. It's, you set the smoke yeah. in, you're yellow and that. Oh, looks horrible. Well, my dad stopped smoking for a time and kept eating mints and sweets and. Yeah, but it's all in the mind now, isn't it? Once you give up smoking, you don't you don't I need know, to start but, eating well, sweets. My started when she was 18 and she couldn't get out of the habit when she doesn't encourage me to sleep she tells me never to stop because she says once you get into the habit you can't stop yeah, I can't, can't see what it's so dick tell me. I've had a cigarette and it was the first one I had. It made me cough and then just made my head spin. And I thought, oh, well, well I've seen people in town and not. I think it looks pretty degrading when they smoke. So the image it gives that made me, well, sort of not want another one anyway. Well, they sort of say, I hate the mods just because they think that they start the trouble. But they start the trouble because they read the badges. And if they weren't the badges, then there wouldn't be the trouble started with there. So one thing starting another, really. They might put I hate mods, not because they don't like them because they start trouble, but because they don't like the sort of music that the mods like, which does sort of spark off trouble, doesn't it? If somebody came up and it me, then it, I'm not going to like them, are they? But if I see somebody in town sort of really dressed funny, I mean, say Blue L or something, I'm just going to think, oh, well, look at the state of him and just have a laugh at him, but I'm, I'm not going to hate him. <laughs> Smoking, it's sort of cheap and that. When they get older, about uh, 15 or 16, they think, uh, they look back and they realise how stupid they looked and how much of a waste of money cigarettes are. 